gotta be kidding me. What do you think? That was a rush, wasn't it? Time for one more spin around the block! Peace and love? Yep, no doubt about it, sir. And on top of that, it looks like his lady friend lends her body to gentlemen for a living. Window lover, will my heart ever recover? For our love to be, I need you beside me. That's not a real no. Come on, we should support him in his time of need, Captain. Where the hell is Aroldo? He ran off with a motorcycle and the motor pool section head is breathing down my neck. I'm sorry, he needed it for a mission and I forgot to hand in the paperwork. <sighs> yes, a mission, right? <gasps> mm-hmm. Mm Now this takes me back. Have a look for yourself. It's beautiful, right? Army intelligence is over those buildings there, and the Gerst district is over there. I found this spot when I was a kid, and the view has never failed to pick me up after a bad day, and believe me, I had a few. Mm-hmm. The finest from the officer's mess, also good for pick-me-ups. <laughs> Let's toast our view of the capital. What do you say? Mr. Arelda, why are you doing all these things for me? Well, that was really sudden. Uh, you were on the Mains Bridge the other day, weren't you? You just looked so sad to me and I wanted to know why. Hey, forget about him, will ya? There's no point in dwelling on him, is there? <laughs> He's gone, but you're here, and that's what matters. I really understand your pain, and I know why you want to believe he's coming back to you. The war's been over for three years, Hannah. And if he's coming back, he would've come back, back by now. He's coming back, damn it. Huh? Frank told me he's coming back, and that's all the proof I'll ever need. A lot of soldiers went to the front promising their girlfriends they were coming home. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure this date is over. <sighs> on a stovetop hat. <laughs> hey! What is the meaning of this? I hate to disappoint you, pal, but ah. she's with me tonight. What's that? Stop it, Oreldo. I see. You're that lovelorn soldier boy. <laughs> Don't you worry. I have quite the lovely evening planned. For the money I'm paying, I'm taking excellent care of her. Hmm. Oh. 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 What the? No! Oh. You filthy I said Stop it! Oh. Damn it! Oh. I need a hand over here! That's enough, son. Mind your own damn business. Mind your own business, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn that smarts. Yeah? Well, you deserve to get roughed up a little bit. Sorry about that. I just got carried away back there. Which circus did you steal those two freak show bouncers from? Think you're the only white knight who's tried to save one of my girls? It doesn't work that way. <sighs> Just wanted to see if there was a smile underneath all that pain. She deserves to be happy too, you know. Get over yourself, boy. Huh? You say you want to make Hannah smile. Honestly, you'd stand a better chance of making me an honest woman. Some people just stay hurt and that's a fact. Hell, you think I don't want to see her happy again? Of course I do. But she's not going to smile and mean it until Frank comes marching back from the war. And that's not going to happen because that boy died over four years ago. I knew it. One lousy death notice from a pencil-pushing bureaucrat. She couldn't believe that, now could she? Ridiculous. 
No one could live with that, right? Right? You're sure he was killed in action? Yeah, that's right. And whether you like it or not, she's going to stay that way. So if you really care about her, just leave her be. Kindness isn't as hard as you think. And she's still waiting for him to come back. Huh? So this girl, she's been waiting for her boyfriend to come back from the war, but that's not possible. Her boss at the club says he was killed four years ago. Why in the hell does she have to be hung up on some dead guy, anyway? She's empty, and I guess she's always gonna stay that way. Even so, I can't sit back and do nothing. Even though she's never really gonna be happy. Well, sir, I'm not so sure it's over yet, either. Huh? The war's still all around us. That's why people are stuck on it. I used to be the same way. I couldn't come to terms with the fact that they'd really signed the armistice. However, I finally started moving forward again after joining Section 3. They've been small steps to be sure, but at least I'm taking them. Your friend can do the same. So you say it's not over yet, huh? Okay. The Battle of Neue Gerlitz actually helped determine the outcome of the war. If the Republic had won that battle, they would have had a direct line of assault right into the capital. We had troops stationed there, but they were low on manpower, supplies, and arms, and decidedly overmatched. That's enough. The Empire responded by sending more reinforcements. Stop we were it, barely please. able to muster one battalion, which included 7th Company. Stop it! Frank isn't dead, I'm telling you. <laughs> I won't believe it. Then just listen! Frank went to war trying to protect you! And this is how you honor his memory? You can't go on this way! He wouldn't have wanted it that way! <gasps> just listen, please. If his life meant anything to you, you need to know the feelings that he fought with, that he died with. Be strong for both of you, now and going forward. Seventh Company arrived at Naya Gerlitz on February 5th. They relieved a forward guard unit that was almost wiped out by the time they got on station. The Republic already had three full battalions in the engagement area, including an armored cavalry squadron. So outnumbered, and in minus 15 degree temperatures, 7th Company dug in. They hoped they could wear down the opposition. So, they began the engagement against overwhelming numbers. Three days after the fighting started, they ran out of fresh water and food rations. They could have fallen back, but they kept on fighting because of news from the rear telling them that reinforcements were on the way. Records from five days later show that half the men were dead from hunger and the cold. And 7th Company kept on fighting for their country, for their families, and the families they wanted to have. Seventh Company gained a temporary advantage, but on February 15th, the Republic Army's 3rd Battalion from their 4th Division reached Neue Gerlitz. With additional units mustering just 30 miles away, 7th Company was being assaulted on all sides again. Just two more days, maybe even one more might have been enough for them to win the fight. They hung on to that one ray of hope, thinking that reinforcements were showing up. 
In addition to the hunger and frostbite, they were also starting to run out of ammunition, and those reinforcements were still miles away. Seeing that 7th Company was overmatched, the Republic's battalions began surrounding their fighting positions, and at 1400 hours, February 17th, they launched their final offensive. Heartbroken? Mm-hmm. You think I'm heartbroken? <laughs> You're really not, sir? But up until yesterday, you could barely even concentrate on your work. Look, the two of you got this thing all backwards. Huh? Just couldn't let her feel sorry for herself all the time. So you really weren't in love? Uh, of course not. Oh, I see. Hmm. President accounted for? Then let's give our all to the war relief mission. Hmm. Well, I finally got dumped. <laughs>